basically, look, we're going to stand up for parents and kids and teachers against the Republicans' radical attacks on public education. The governor has made very clear that she wants to continue pushing her plan to use public taxpayer dollars for these private school vouchers. Uh, we know that they're already developing plans to try and force it through. Uh, we think it's a threat to, to rural schools in particular. We think it'll force more school consolidation, bigger class sizes, fewer learning opportunities for kids. Uh, a lot of Republicans know this, which is why the governor has struggled to get her plan through the legislature, uh, despite having a large majority in the in the uh, state house. Um, and it's why many independent Republicans have rejected the plan over the last couple of years. And so, uh, you know, Democrats know that our public schools are the anchors of our our rural communities, and that undermining them with this voucher scheme will make uh, our communities weaker, not stronger. And do you think it's going to look very similar to what it looked like um, this past year? Will it in increase in scope? What are your thoughts there? Well, if anything, I think the governor will likely be expanding its its scope. You know, mm -hmm. we're hearing that she may, in fact, rather than uh, the somewhat limited pilot project she'd been previously talking about, be opening it up entirely, you know, to potentially funnel hundreds of millions of dollars out of our public education system and into the coffers of these private schools. We don't think that's right for Iowa.